Hey guys, welcome back. I'm very excited for today's video because I am going to be switching out these halogen headlamps for One of the weak points of the base Model 95s are definitely the headlights, more specifically the light output. The projectors were an option on the non-aero trims and standard on the aero models. These not only look 10 times better, but they give a much better output. Some would argue that even these xenons are not great, but they are for sure way better than the reflector halogens I have, so I decided to go with them. First step is to remove the corner lights. There is a small tab on the inside which needs to be pushed out towards the front of the car. Oh my. Wow. That will pop the corner lights forward. Then disconnect the harness. For the main housing, there is one 10mm on the left, one 10mm on the right inside the outer grille, and one torque screw at the top. Then it should come out with a few wiggles. Disconnecting the harness is the last step. Then it's a matter of doing the reverse with the new projectors. It is technically plug and play, but not quite, which I will go over later in the video. On the left is the reflector, and the right is the projectors. There is a clear difference between the two. The cutoff on the right is far superior to the left. That cutoff is what prevents blinding of other drivers at night. This is the part of the plug-in play that has a small asterisk. It needs to be leveled. But before that, I put both lights on and gave them a quick polish so the leveling can be done more accurately. Right now upon startup, the auto leveling will go to the highest setting, then slowly go down until it reaches the lowest setting. As is, it doesn't light up anything on the road, so I dug up the headlight leveling instructions on the SaabWiz manual. There are several prerequisite steps that need to be done first, but I won't go over that in this video because it's pretty detailed and mundane. For example, it makes you check if there is no snow on the car. After the prerequisites are done, next step is getting the numbers. The car needs to be on level ground, then I place the car's headlights 7.6 meters from the wall. Then I measure the distance from the ground to the center marking on the headlight housing, which is this plus symbol right here. It's gonna be different for every car depending on your suspension and your wheels, so I'll call it X here. For reflector housing headlights, subtract 5 centimeters from X. For xenon projector housings, which is what I have now, subtract 7.5 centimeters from X. Then I mark the wall at that number. So now I'm ready to adjust the headlight one side at a time. The vertical level adjustment screw is behind the inner beam section. Turn it clockwise to raise the cutoff and counterclockwise to lower. When the cutoff point is right on the marking, the headlights are leveled. And here is a quick video of the before and after. Seeing the results, this upgrade is 1000% worth it. Not only do the headlights themselves look better, the light output and cutoff line is much improved over the halogens. The only downside is that the parts are more expensive to replace if they go bad, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. So that's it for this video, I hope it helped you guys, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.